we're back and we just finished watching 2020's Soul by Pixar Studios. A movie that, again, the streak continues. I, I feel like this is not what Children's Fair is typically about, but the people at Pixar, once again, have knocked it out of the park, telling a story about Joe Gardner, voiced by Jamie Foxx, a public school teacher who whose time has come and he finally goes full time but he his secret or he's offered the opportunity he's offered to, go the opportunity full -time. to go full time but secretly he wants to play with his gig at this yes he yeah, wants he to play a, with an amazing Dorothea, opportunity Dorothea. yes opportunity um, of a life like that uh the the he yeah, taught yeah. taught like this guy and he was a drummer and he told the, him about this gig yes to play with Curly. Yes. Curly, yes. Curly. <laughs> Curly was offering him a chance to get the opportunity of a lifetime to fulfill this dream that he's been that, waiting for. That Joe has been waiting for his entire life and for some reason something always happens in his life when he gets close to his dream. Something that something, always something has falls to through. happen. Just falls yeah. through. And, um, uh, and it he, happens again. <laughs> and it happens again, yes. And he winds up, I guess, in the afterlife. Almost at the end. Almost. Point. Yeah. And gets sidetracked to, I guess, where souls earn their spark. Personalities. Uh -huh. Where souls get their personalities. Abilities and their spark and then come down to Earth. They are now going to be born. Go to Earth. See the wonders of joy in life. Eat pizza. Smell it. And do the wonderful things that they, that, that. That they plan to do in the afterlife or something like that. Okay. Yes. Yeah. That's pretty much very, it. Very good. Very good. Um, I so I really go around the table, get impressions. G, what did you think of this movie? I really, really, really like this, and I can find no reason why it can be better. Interesting. Mm -hmm. A nice little disclaimer what, there. What was is, there what, anything you, about it that you thought was was you know really worth noting? Did you have a favorite part? A favorite part. Anything. Something you thought was cool. I know that I laughed uh, at the beginning, but I forgot what it was for. It's, wait, it was like this uh, soul said, "Where are my pants? Uh, I don't have any pants." No, he's no. She just said, "Where are my pants?" Because but that wasn't it. <laughs> but another part that made me laugh was at the end where Jerry uh, tricks Terry. Into not looking at the actors, yeah. yeah. So he counts. He's like Terry, look over there, and then she's like, "What?" And he's like, "Nothing." Were you talking before? I don't even remember. Yeah. <laughs> Jerry Sly Fox. Yeah, there's a lot of really, really great voices. Oh wait, actually, everyone's named Jerry, right? Everybody yes. except for Terry. Terry was, the, Terry. Terry, was the Terry. One. Terry the short one. Who yes. Was the, who was the count? There was like a lady, Jerry, and a lady Jerry that and a guy Jerry. turned into that bus and rode the souls around. She and then her, like into an animal. Male Jerry, which uh, was voiced by Anyana. Yes, Richard Ayo. Ayoade? He is a perfect voice. Ayoade. Perfect voice. Sorry if we're butchering, butchering your name. name. Sorry. You are but, from Apple yeah. and Onion, right? He is, yes. He is, <laughs> he is Onion. Yes. He's got a great voice. He's got voice. an awesome yeah, voice. Yeah. He should just. He should be at everything. And yeah. surprisingly enough, no Cliff Clavin. Yeah. Where was what John happened? Ratzenberger? Where is John Ratzenberger, <laughs> Pixar? What about you all? Did you like this movie? Uh, I loved this movie. What did you think? Really? Uh, I thought it was really, really, really good. Was there anything so good you thought it? was cool or like, funny? I liked it just how I like Inside Out. Yeah. It's it, up there. It, it, it's it definitely, definitely up there. It felt almost like a little companion piece, piece to it. Inside yeah. Out, you know, it, was, it, it, it was really a, does, actually. Just analyzing another you aspect know, of soul. consciousness. Human, yeah, yeah, human existence. I think yeah. um, when I watched the trailer, it said it was actually. Like it was made from inside out. Yeah. Well, Pete Doctor, I, I, I think, Pete, also directed that too. I believe so, yeah. 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 And Coco? Did he do Coco did as well? Did he do Coco as I, well? I think I it's think in Coco. I, I don't really I think, know. I think that might be right. Uh, I well, think they, you're Coco. very good at remembering commercials. Yes. You memorize commercials. I wish you could memorize everything else. <laughs> 
<laughs> no, Inside Out was the last thing he directed. I mean, he may have done like writing and stuff on the other stuff, but not. Who did Coco? Coco was. Uh, let's see. It said Inside Out and something else. Yeah, even John Ratzenberger was in Coco. Yeah, I remember his voice. Wow. Uh, it was directed by Lee Unk Rich and Adrian Molina. Uh, well, it's not John Ratzenberg. It had, had like, John Ratzenberg. Ratzenberger. Ratzenberger. Rat oh, rat burger. They put a rat in a burger. I love you enough. <laughs> Alright, say that. Uh, let's rein it in. Uh, did you have a favorite character, Olive G? Uh, my favorite character, 29. 22. <laughs> <laughs> Voiced by the lovely and talented Tina Fey, who was the mom in Onward, who I always confuse for Julia Louise Dreyfus for some bizarre reason. Every That's time right, I hear she, her, yeah. I'm like, oh, it's Julia Louise Dreyfus. So she, was al- like, she was also the mom in, uh, what was that movie? Ponyo. <laughs> oh my god, let's not talk about Lisa. Ponyo. Ugh. Lisa with Awful. Yes. She was a terrible parent. <laughs> it, it's like teen pregnancy. Olivia. All right. Rain it in. <laughs> yeah. Rain it in. Uh, Ray? Thoughts? Uh, Impressions? I, yeah, I really like this. I as I like in the beginning as I was watching it, I, I was. Wait, mommy. It just it looks everything looks okay. so good, especially New York. They did oh a my great gosh, job yeah. rendering New York. They got the lighting right. I mean, I've been on streets that look exactly like that it was beautiful and uh as far as the story goes it's got like a really nice message about i guess people feeling like they've missed their shot they've missed their opportunity they've blown their life away wasting their time and not realizing that you know you don't really have a purpose you're you just live your life and through the living the actual living you you have to live to truly find your purpose right it's not something that you're born with it's not something that you're destined for it's something that you find and you see that with um the barber yes des des when when uh he says that he really wants to be a vet he wanted to be a veterinarian but but his little girl got sick yeah life put him for a turn and And suddenly he's a barber and he's happy well he said that he was more cheaper right and he's living his life he's living his best life yes Yes. and that was i think that was like the beginning of an eye opening for joe and also for 22. 22 yeah and who had been resistant about coming to earth because yeah. she said earth is boring yeah she just didn't realize All what the it, beauty what it was life. like yeah. what it was like to live yeah. and to the point where i mean she has a, a an innocent soul so she's experiencing life like a grown man experiencing these things for the first time the taste of pizza the feel of the wind catching a little curly cue thing in her I hand there's a helicopter leaf yeah one of those little helicopter leaves that falls out and of just trees. The, the beauty of just leaves flying dancing in the wind yeah just, just exactly every day they, they, finding the, they the show beauty that the just small a, things yeah, the leaves yeah. scraping on the ground as the wind carries the little girl them. jumping with her dad the little girl jumping with her dad the two friends having i guess coffee outside the cafe mm-hmm. there's just there's there's beauty and poignancy in many unsuspecting places as well and that's part of the life journey right mm-hmm. finding a slushy under the seat <laughs> subway that was <laughs> disgusting where did you get that <laughs> <laughs> jamie fox was fantastic uh, in jamie fox's voice voices yeah he was so perfect, perfect. so yeah. perfect uh, everyone did such a great job i had no idea that Aunt, the lovely and amazing angela bassett was dorothea oh really yes all hail the queen. She is fantastic too. Um, yeah, top to bottom, solid scripts, fantastic voice acting. Yeah. Um, beautiful. Beautiful. Just everything is gorgeous. Gorgeous. And as, as scale you, gets, it just increases every single time. It really, and this feels like the most grown up thing they've ever done. It because, really did. This was I because would not even though it's a say, kids movie, it was some of it felt a little bit maybe over kids' heads, but it's still done in a way that's accessible to younger audiences. Yeah, it, I got like, my honest, kid enjoyed it and was yeah. very 
moved and in the in the moment and in the story. And it, that was I another thing. I actually thing. cried at the end. I cried a little at the end too. And it was it was interesting because there's that sequence about how you're in the zone when you find your passion yeah. and you're in the zone. And you go to that place. And you go to that place. <laughs> and not to get off tangent, but and this is directed to you because you and I have seen this movie. I thought about Sound of Metal as I was watching this. Yeah, a little. <laughs> like I could see the correlation there. And it was, and it, 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 that, not the best movie made, but it really impacted me. And it, had, it, it has it, stayed it with had, me. It had a very similar message. Message about, like, you know, accepting ex this life that yeah. you're given and just being living it. living it and being the best at it and i think that there's the thing right and uh the guy in that movie when he says to him like the perfect living in that perfect moment was when there was no sound but yeah. you found like perfection in, in that silence, silence. Yeah. and it was interesting because here too joe's character has that moment of epiphany when he comes back and I turned to you and I was like, oh, I wonder if his true spark is teaching. No, I mean, it, it was just, it was everything. It was, it was just, just it was every, it was the life experience, life. It was right? Him sitting with his dad, it was everything, riding a bike through the, through a park. Right, you know? just everything. And I think sometimes, I, by the time we post this, it's going to be 2021. And I just want to say that 2020 was a strange year. A very strange year. Yeah. But... So long, sucker! Okay. So, but I also want to say that it's things like this that really are just so welcome and wonderful because this little movie really is just amazing. Because it's like, we've all been given this gift on this earth. And mm -hmm. what you choose to do with it is part of the journey. I think there's like this, uh, what is it, a story, a parable about how a student wanted to give a teacher like the perfect gift as, as, as kind of a thank you for being a great teacher. And he goes through life and he comes up empty and he comes back to the teacher. And the teacher basically says, I'm, I'm paraphrasing this, I'm obviously going to butcher this, but basically it was like, it wasn't about the present. It was about the journey. Mm -hmm. And I think that this this movie was such an excellent reminder that we all have gifts. You know, when we open them is, I guess, dependent on ourselves. And to really just embrace your life, to love your life, even when you feel like a horrible failure or that you have no purpose, just live. Yeah. And enjoy, enjoy the and enjoy and try, the journey. Try and enjoy and find meaning in the journey. And yeah. it's funny when the correlation between the real world and the and the spirit world when they go to that place where the people who are lost are. Yes. And then later on in the movie when he's on the subway and he looks up, he looks down the the train car, the car and right. it's just full of people holding onto the pole and staring at their phone. phones. Just lost. Right not living at all yeah yeah oh and, and also oh, like yeah. when like the lost spirits like one guy was sent free for me he just like freedom <laughs> freedom <laughs> but, ah! you don't Inside have to scream we're right here <laughs> right here <laughs> he started sweeping the car. i guess yeah. this is another thing that won't I change know, the year i don't know i don't know if it would but he was like <laughs> Careful! Table over. Crazy. Um, <laughs> anything else? you fired. Um, when you were talking about earlier that that there's more to this than being a kids movie, and I gotta be honest, I don't really feel this was a kids movie. No, I this mean, was a film that a child could enjoy, but this was uh, this was a movie for adults. Absolutely, it's a movie absolutely. for adults that children could enjoy. Most Pixar films. They're kids' movies that have a lot to offer adults. But yes. I feel like this was an adult movie that children can enjoy. Yes. And th that's that's sort of like maybe like an evolution of what their of their storytelling or I don't know what, but this the concepts within the visuals. They're not like anything Pixar's ever done. Yeah. This was, and it it 
I, I have to be honest, it kind of took me out in the beginning. Really? Yeah, I gotta be honest. It took me out in the beginning because this what, is was not. It, was it when he went to the afterlife? Or or in the real world. When did you catch me snoozing? <laughs> when he went into the afterlife, right? I don't know. Um, yeah, I'm gonna out myself and say I very very briefly fell asleep. Uh, but again, that's because I I woke Shame up early and you. has been I've been just trying to clean up and and fix the house and stuff. But when I came back into it, and I was only I think I only closed my eyes for about two seconds because I think yeah, you, you heard me and you were like, are you asleep? You were, you were in, so you, upset with me. Yeah, you were in it for 99.9% .9 of this movie. Yes, yes. And it is not like anything Pixar has ever done. Absolutely not. And I agree with you. I think it's a great companion piece to Inside Out. So if people want to do a double feature, I think they de absolutely go hand in hand. HBO Max is, oh no, Disney Plus Disney is currently Plus. streaming this for the next 30 days, I believe. And if you can get yourself in front of it, I highly, highly, they're highly they're recommend They're only showing it. this one for 30 days? On HBO Max. This is Disney Plus. I'm, oh my God, I'm sorry. Why do I keep saying HBO Max? Because I think it was just watched Wonder Woman. Watch I think Wonder, Wonder Woman. Woman's the one that's only that's on for only 30 on days. for thirty days, right? Right. I think this is just direct. It, Disney, to... yeah, Disney Plus, it's 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 there. It's there. Yes, yes. So please do yourself a favor if you have not seen Soul, Soul. absolutely check it out. It's yeah. it's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. I mean, yeah, the the New York City landscape itself is just a feast for the eyes and it's funny because we've had this conversation before about i being born in new york i love when my hometown is is in the movies and yeah. and again this is such a beautiful like homage the way the subway turns on the silver cup studio sign and honestly this was as far as movies go this was the most realistic subway Yes. I've seen in like a New York City subway because most of the time, time yeah. when they, as soon as characters, they're walking around a New York City street and then they go in the subway and then suddenly they're in this like weird freaking subway car. Yeah. I'm like, what is going on? Yes, that's Where Canada. Is that's that? not America. That's, that's a Canadian subway. <laughs> that's yeah. not New York. Yeah, that is not a real subway car. Yes, this yes. they did a great, great job. job. That yes. was, they, but not only that, but like even like what was it the blue note all that like that's obviously lower manhattan yeah just all of it you could see it you could smell it it just everything about it was just spot on and beautiful the and the, the animation yeah, yeah and and sometimes there were parts in the film where it just looks so real and like you yeah. couldn't tell me that that was animated i would i would have fought you i would be like no that's that's a still from a, a movie yeah and it's just so beautifully yeah, done i mean the an animation in this detail. is top notch thank so when you when they play me. when they play the musical instruments they're playing them yeah yeah you know, everything and i'm sure that they're doing they're the right the notes, notes. Yeah. yeah i think we spoke we spoke about that with with uh, lenny when we, when yes. we reviewed coco and yeah how the kid was playing, playing the, guitar, the and, guitar and he's like that kid, is, right. that kid is playing those chords right 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 and uh, it was the same thing with, with this with the uh, when the uh, Dorothea forgot, Dorothea is playing the saxophone, and when he's when he's pounding playing, the keys, playing the keys, uh, beautifully done. Yeah, when Curly's hitting the Gorgeous. cymbals or the drums, yeah. yeah, everything about this movie just spoke to me. Uh, a refreshing, refreshing change from Wonder Woman eighty four, which was not uh, what they, I wanted. Let's not be. compare the two because they're, they're they're obviously different, completely but, different things, yeah. and. As far as like, if you want to compare like things that came out on Christmas Day, then yes, uh, Soul is the way to go. Yes, absolutely. Uh, it's it's just it's just a really good movie. Yes, and like I absolutely. said, don't think it's a kids movie because it's not. It's it's got some heady concepts, and it these concepts are beautifully visualized in clever and clever ways, executed wonderfully. Great comedy. Uh, not a lot. I mean, usually there's more in Pixar movies. I don't feel like I laughed as much as I have in other Pixar movies. But still, there were some funny bits. There were, there were some very deep moments. There were some poignant moments. Yeah. And just all in all, just such a lovely gift, this movie. Yeah. I mean, top to bottom. Fantastic voice actors. 
really, really good script. The animation is always good. Is always fantastic, and Pixar just excels at storytelling. And and again, I know I've mentioned this before. Like story is everything. If you don't have a good story, you have nothing. And once again, something that shouldn't work. Again, Pixar has made it work. A scale of one to ten, I'm gonna give this movie a nine point five. It's that good. If you haven't seen it, please, please, please do yourself a favor and check out Pixar's Soul. Oh, hey, gee, what we're is your you number? Uh, uh, I give this a ten and a half. A ten and a half? <laughs> yeah. That's a new one. No, well, that's a new that's one. Beyond perfect. That's beyond perfect. But okay. Olivia's broken the scale before. <laughs> so you like Enola Holmes more than this one, Olivia? No, I, I screw, screw Enola Holmes. All right, <laughs> easy, <laughs> easy, easy. I give Enola Holmes a nine. Forget about fourteen. Okay. All right. Wow, you even remember what you gave? Yeah, <laughs> yeah I, I don't remember. remember. <laughs> I just remember it was definitely more yeah. than ten and a half. All right. We're getting about fourteen. All no, right. So I get still a fifteen. All right. You don't Easy. Have to do oh my goodness. <laughs> Blow out Jesus. the mic. Yeah. What do you get this one? Olivia, oh, please. Put your levels down here. Go into the living room. <laughs> I'm sure she would, she would still be just as loud yeah. sitting oh, in the living room. Yeah. Um, um, I give the I I'd also give this a nine and a half. Nine and a half. What about you? Uh, yeah, nine and a half. Yeah, it's excellent. Yeah. Excellent. And like I said, this 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 would be a great companion piece to Inside Out because they both, like I said, they both explore just strange or interesting concepts of the mind and and belief and and purpose and everything. Yeah, and, it's, and it was interesting because it was it was done without really addressing even religion. If you think about there it, there was yeah, no it was mention a complete of it. secular view, view of the of afterlife. The afterlife. It was just there was a, a like big a, a, white light, sort that of a people, conveyor belt going up to going up to a white light, and it looks like one of those fly things. It was a look, yeah, that was a little strange. Like when the the souls would go in, it was like. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. That was kind of weird. And, well, I could see why the guy would be scared. Yeah. <laughs> true, true. yeah. And uh, just where like souls are created, everybody's just this little puff of of smoke Blue. or cloud or yeah. whatever they are. And they um, look like the little ghost in the uh, uh, gumball. Yes, Carrie. they they look they look like Terry. Uh, Carrie. Carrie. Yes, Carrie. they look Carrie. Yeah. And the way the uh, I, I don't know if you would call them angels or or the counselors or the counselors or whatever. Yeah. The way they were created was. Brilliant. They were yeah. just these two dimensional beings that they would look like had a, line. I mean, they were able they to were move like, in three yeah, dimensions, but, they were all but lines. Yeah, yeah they it were was like just this, like one line that continued. They were, yeah, they were like an abstract drawing of a human being. Yeah, mm -hmm. and they can morph into different things because, like you had mentioned, somebody mentioned before that one of them turned I into like a bus or something. Animal yeah. bus. Yeah, but even and then, they were still like they were still stairs. just a line. Yeah, yeah. You know, just a contiguous line, even the way like their eyes were. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah kudos, Pixar. Another just brilliantly done movie experience. Thank you so much, Disney, for having those deep pockets. Pixar Studios, Pete, Doctor, and 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 cast and crew. Okay, so we should wrap it up. Yeah. So, and that's it. We for, highly recommend. We so. highly, highly recommend. So. Highly, highly, highly. And if you haven't seen it, go check it out. It's streaming currently on Disney Plus. That's it from us. We will come back with another review soon. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.